Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Today I have with me Franny Gerthofer, Executive Director of Hilton Head Humane Association, and her partner in crime, Laura Tipton. <laughs> and I think they brought the Humane Association <laughs> group with them, but they're here today and we're going to just talk some shop. Well, we thought, you know, it's the end of the year. We have a lot of people to be grateful for. A lot of catching for. up to talk yeah, about. I mean, there's just so many people that help us throughout the year, yeah. from boarding kennels to groomers to trainers. And I think people are, uh, have to know that a lot, all of them donate their services to us. So um, we're very I think grateful. That's very yes, important. We're, we're very, very grateful. But we did bring some shelter um, animals today just because we thought if, if they could get home for the holidays, why not? Right. So, so Laura has. Ta-da. Ta-da. Ta I'll have to like, say it that way. Ta-da. Ta <laughs> she uh, just went and had a makeover, and her nails are red and green, which you can't oh really see goodness, right now. Oh, my goodness. They are. They're Christmas. Perfect for Christmas. She's four years old. She came to us from Beaufort County Animal Services. She was heartworm positive when she arrived, but she's been treated now, and Sweet. she's just a loving family pet. Yeah. For very just almost sweet, any calm, family she really calm. For. Well, she is calm, and she gets on with other animals, mm -hmm. so she's like the perfect pet, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. just adorable. Mm -hmm. And so, Franny, who do you have? You, you uh, have a little one. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is Holly. Okay. And um, Holly was actually found in Bluffton, and Holly was um, matted all the way over so that you couldn't see if Holly was a dog or what was Aww. Holly. So Holly came to the shelter in very, very bad condition. So we were able to make friends with her and it took a little while because yeah. I think it took so long for her to be so matted over that her tail was matted to her body and her Aww. eyes were matted shut and her ears were matted down. So she obviously was um, very traumatized. So yeah. it took us a few days to gain her trust and then we did and we were able to um, actually groom her and so we just shaved all her mats off and, and thanks to grooming dales for coming to the shelter actually dropping everything to get this little get baby out little of, of and she's old. young she's just over a year Aww. so um she hasn't been fixed yet so we're waiting a little bit she has a little bit of an infection in mm -hmm. her lungs because of I guess all that trauma. Yeah. Um, so we're waiting for her to get a little bit more healthy, but she's just adorable. She and, is adorable. Um, yeah, she'll be ready before the end of the year as well. Nice, another mm -hmm. nice Christmas present. Okay, Laura, who'd you bring over? Well, this is Maria, <laughs> our three-toothed uh, wonder dog. She had many, many <laughs> damaged tooth. teeth, so they had to be removed. So Quite she a has tongue three, there, Maria And has. that's why her tongue sticks out. <laughs> She's very, very friendly and very sweet. She does not care for cats, um, which is her uh, kind of our, her only downside. She loves to be with people. She wants to spend all her time just glued to your side. She will make such a great companion. One of our um, famous volunteers that we always thank this time of year is looking into possibly taking her home when we get her medical items sorted out, which we're just all couldn't be, it's like a friend, a, a member of the family adopting one of the dogs. It's just yeah. so wonderful. We're so hopeful. So you really have some some nice adoptions yeah, so at, we, the, at the shelter. We do, and we did bring a few cats mm -hmm. um, that you can tell them about. We, we brought two little kitties. Um, they're, uh, one is gray and one is a tabby. They're three months old. They were found in an air conditioning duct. Aww. when they were just about a little bit over a pound. So they've been at the shelter for a while till they got, you know, big enough to right. be spayed and spayed or neutered. And um, they're just adorable and ready to they could no, go Franny. together. No, <laughs> stop looking at me with those doggy eyes. No. One year yeah. after all this time together, there will be a time when I can give you an animal I know. of your choice. I know. I and know. A gray kitty would go with your dress. It would go with my dress. <laughs> yes. So it is the end of the year. Yes. I think you have a little Christmas thing coming yes, up. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And so we're very excited for people to come on Sunday, yes. the 9th, from 12 to 2, to be a part of our Christmas celebration. And bring the pets. pictures. Bring the pet, bring the kids, bring the husband, bring the wife, bring the cousins, <laughs> bring everyone. Um, and we do have a lot of vendors coming just with some Christmas 
um, potential present gift ideas. Nice. So, and they'll be set up in the front yard, and and it's it's very very festive. So we're re really excited about that. Um, and we have favors to give away, and there's just a, a whole lot of Christmas cheer. So we're really looking forward to everybody stopping by um, between those hours, and and it's it's all free. So we we do want to present those pictures. Um, to the community as a thank you for supporting us throughout the year. Very nice. And I can't believe it, but we're over as well as I'm not going to see you till the next year. Yes. So <laughs> That's crazy. I know. <laughs> so see you next year. See you next year. <laughs> and thank you. you for everything. Yes, You're thank always you. welcome. Mm -hmm. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.